Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Mohammed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday evening paid a visit to the Kawal Ram, Aspatota, Haridas, Gajria, Thaka and Miljamal families to mark Diwali. During the visit, His Highness Sheikh Isa highlighted His Majesty King Hamad's efforts in promoting the principles of diversity and mutual respect, stressing that the recent launch of the King Hamad Chair in Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence at Sapienza University in Rome is a shining example of Bahrain's increasing global role in advancing peace and compassion amongst different cultures. His Highness Sheikh Isa conveyed His Royal Highness the Crown Prince best wishes on the occasion of Diwali stressing the importance of the valuable role the Kingdom's communities play in Bahrain's development. For their part, the family celebrating Diwali expressed the gratitude for His Highness Sheikh Issa's visit and welcomed the Kingdom's cultural openness and long-lasting support for religious freedom.
The Kingdom of Bahrain hailed the initiative put forward by His Majesty King Mohammed VI of the Kingdom of Morocco in his address on the occasion of the 43rd anniversary of the Green March on the establishment of a joint mechanism for dialogue and consultation with the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria. It affirmed that the WISE initiative embodies His Majesty's King desire to promote the brotherly relations between the two countries and reinforce bilateral dialogue for the sake of a closer cooperation and broad relations that would avail the two countries and the brotherly peoples. The Kingdom expressed hope that this consultative framework based on dialogue would enable the two countries to overcome all obstacles hindering the development of their relations and help them invest in their potentials in supporting development efforts, enhancing the interests of the Arab Maghreb countries and contributing to the strength of the joint Arab action. Bahrain reaffirmed its position in support of legitimate rights of Morocco to its southern regions in accordance with the autonomy initiative and the quest for a lasting political solution within the framework of the sovereignty of Morocco and its national and territorial integrity. The Council of Representatives Human Rights Committee followed with concern a statement issued by US Congressman James P. McGovern and Randy Hultgren, co-chairs of the Tom Lantus Human Rights Commission in the US House of Representatives. The aforementioned statement included information that is not based on facts about the forthcoming parliamentary election in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Human Rights Committee finds such allegations absurd and calls for all stakeholders to receive information from trusted sources, especially that the law that prohibited members of dissolved political societies was issued by the legislative authority instead of the executive authority. The Human Rights Committee calls all parties not to issue prejudgments about the electoral process, since such action is considered a falsification and deliberate offence in contrast with all norms and standards of evaluation. From its role in clarification, the Human Rights Committee reaffirms that parliamentary and municipal elections that have been launched by His Majesty the King under the consensus of the Bahraini people through the National Action Charter referendum have always been subject to international standards reflected in the right to vote and to be elected in free and fair elections in an atmosphere of independency and transparency. The committee furthermore reiterates that political societies and other civil or society organisations are established by law and any violations thereof are subject to judicial review where all legal guarantees are afforded. The dissolved political societies have violated their own statutes and the ban on their members to stand in a general election was prescribed by law. Members of the aforesaid societies violated relevant legislations which had an impact on the national security of the kingdom. The dissolved political societies exhausted all judicial procedures in accordance with fair trial guarantees, in accordance with international standards. These dissolved societies have received political and financial support from states and organisations that threaten international peace and security, not limited to Iran, Qatar and Hezbollah. Further, they have applied the Wilayat al doctrine, which has been an obstacle in establishment of a democratic society based on human rights, pluralism, equality and the rule of law. The Human Rights Committee confirms that the electoral process in Bahrain is accessible to all citizens and that elections are a national affair subject to independent judicial supervision and Bahraini civil society observation. The committee stresses that elections in the Kingdom are free and fair in conformity with the principles of the National Action Charter, provisions of the constitutional national legislation and relevant international benchmarks. The committee further stresses that all electoral guarantees have been afforded by human rights organisations and civil society subject to reasonable criteria. With regard to prison sentences and a number of members of dissolved political societies, the committee affirms that the judicial verdicts issued against them were due to the committing of serious crimes, irrespective of their political affiliations. The judicial hearings were subject to the legal guarantees under the observation of civil society and the attendance of foreign embassy representatives, including representatives from the US Embassy in Manama. Civil and political rights are protected in Bahrain under the Constitution, without discrimination between citizens, where all are equal before the law. Electoral districts are divided based on the criteria of electoral population subject to the law. The Human Rights Committee is confident that such statements will never obstruct the democratic process in Bahrain. Rather, it will enforce the will of the people to realise development and progress for a prospective future in a society that encompasses various components under the rule of law and institutions.
The Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Isan bin Abdullah Khalaf, held a meeting with the emergency rain team in the works and municipality sectors. In light of the directions of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to ensure and verify the efficiency of the preparations taken to deal with the rainy season. During the meeting, the Minister directed the team to take precautionary measures to deal with rainfall during the coming period according to the predictions of the Director of Meteorology at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications to ensure the protection of the sewage network, road network safety, traffic flow on main streets, bridges and tunnels, handling of rainwater collection in the interior and residential areas and minimising damage as much as possible. He also directed to ensure the safety of the entrances of hospitals, schools and public and vital places from rainwater accumulation. The Minister inspected a number of streets to view the cleaning of drainage pipes in different parts of the Kingdom. The operational status of the rainwater pumping stations and the necessary repairs were verified. All 92 pumping stations were inspected, as well as the discharge of rainwater collection tanks and the drying of main rainwater drainage lines and the maintenance of sewage pumping stations which had been affected by the poor use of drainage water in the sewage network. Road operators also made immediate improvements such as setting up dirt barriers in some areas to collect rainwater and maintain damaged roads by repaving them and filling the holes. The Ministry pointed out that 50 tanks will be provided to collect the accumulated rainwater in the main streets, in addition to 40 mobile pumps. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, BTEA, concluded its participation in the World Travel Market Exhibition held in the United Kingdom with its efforts to promote the Kingdom of Bahrain as an attracting touristic destination at the global level. The BTEA received professional cyclists and Bahrain Merida member in the International Union of Cyclists, Vincenzo Nibali, who promoted the Ironman Championship, which will be held at the end of this year. The authority's participation in the exhibition is in line with its long-term strategy to develop the tourism sector in the Kingdom at the regional and international levels, which contributes to Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. The authority CEO, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa, said that the exhibition is the leading platform for attracting representatives from the travel and tourism sector worldwide. <laughs> 